Hello everybody, welcome back to this playthrough of Civilization 6 on the Nintendo Switch and in today's episode we are going to first of all outline the plan for the rest of the series really, well not the rest of the series but where we go next with this absolutely massive military we've got so we've got to really think about that. I have listened to your comments um, and yeah I'm going to outline that right at the start but just before we get into that I'd like to apologise once again for being a few days since the last, ep uh, last upload yeah, um, I'm going to keep trying to work as hard as possible but right now it's absolutely chaos with everything else which unfortunately you know university at this stage has to take importance anyway so in the comments I have been reading them I've been thinking about it as well because I've really been wanting to jump back into this and I've come up with a three-pronged plan of action um, and I think it was pretty much a consensus that first of all we need to get our biggest rivals off the continent so Taking on China was a very popular option, so we are going to do that, and that's probably one of the main bits. That's going to be the biggest assault we probably do in this part of the three-pronged attack. So we're going to have to amass our troops around the border with China. We're going to have to really think about how we can take them out effectively and quickly without too much trouble. So we'll be doing that. We'll be building towards that in the next few episodes. The second part involves coming over here to Larsa, which has been a bit of a thorn in our side for a little while. But once we get our battleships and, you know, we can really start to push on maybe in this episode and beyond, um, take some area of our continent is an absolutely key bit. But that's not the only part of this three-pronged attack. You know, we've, we've got the attack on China. And then for this second point, we're not just going to take on Larsa, but we're going to think about how can we push this war forward further and how. Can we take their capital? Yes, that's it. We're thinking about attacking China, but we're going to continue our war on with Samaria as well. Um, I mean, a war on two fronts, has that ever ended badly in history? Uh, okay, let's, forget, let's talk about something else. Um, so yeah, we're going to carry on with our war with both, well, with Samaria, and we're going to continue and start a war, should I say, sorry, with China. So that's what we're going to be building up to the main two bits. But then I was thinking... Okay, so we need, and by the way, by a war with China, that is part of my big plan to sort of conquer the continent. So do not be surprised if I suddenly decide to take out that last Arabian city as well on the continent, because we really do need to secure our position in order to push on properly over here, which come, brings me onto my third prong of a kind of where we're going to go next. Um, I'm thinking we don't really want to be starting a war with China, with um, Persia while we're attacking China and still at war with Samaria, but we do need to make sure that we are more than capable of defending ourselves over here. So we are going to think about how we can just strengthen our hand a bit over here in case Persia attacks, in case, in case Greece attacks, I don't know, maybe in case Congo gets brave and sends some troops, whatever. Just so our outpost on this continent over here is safe and then we've not got too far to go before we can capture Paz, um, Pazagada or whatever when we decide the time is right. So there are three main points we're going to be focusing on going on. And I like that because three is a nice number. Apparently something the Greek philosophers used to do was list things in threes, but I don't know. Maybe that sounds too intelligent coming out of my mouth. Anyway, let's get into it. I've wasted enough time here. I'm going to probably play for, well, well, I'm hoping to play for quite a bit over 20 minutes, but we'll see where it goes. I'm hoping to record as well tomorrow. I'm off, sort of, but I've got two deadlines in the next two days, hence the lack of uploads. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Other players are taking their turns, unsurprisingly. Okay, well, we did presume our, our scout would die there. That's actually pretty sad. They've been with us right from the start of the game. But you may have took out our scout. We will be back with a much bigger and much more fierce force um, than just a bloody scout. They killed the dog as well. Sick. Sickos. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, scout, scout, scout. First thing I think we said we were going to do was upgrade you. 530 gold. Ugh. That's gutting. I do want to upgrade you though, so I will do it. Um, Lublin, you have healed there. Now we need to think really about what we're doing with these troops. It's nice having a ton of troops, but mass troop movements are not particularly fun to organize. Right, so artillery is going to be one of the biggest things we need for this assault. We're going to need probably to attack China on multiple fronts. First of all, we need to capture the capital, but that's nice because we have a... What are they doing with these knights? 
Are China going to start the war? But first of all, we need to probably capture their capital is the main thing. And then if it all goes tits up from there, at least we've got the capital. So we need some artillery over in Ravana to launch that attack. But then I'd also like to sort of swoop down here and capture this city. Um, capture the city of um, Changsha. I, I apologize for pronouncing that wrong. And then we sort of took the two main cities. We could also do with taking that, just so we don't have that, like, you know, being a thorn in our side. So they're the first three cities I'm really keen to capture. And then that I'll leave them with just Beijing, um, Longxi. Oh, God, this is such bad pronunciation. I'm really, I'm really sorry. And then Shenyang and this one down here. So, but we'd have cut them off um, and just sort of isolated them to this corner to push on as one. So that would be good. Um, and Tana, that city there, city state needs to come down as well. So we could do with putting probably two forces together. One at Ravana to capture the capital quickly. And then one around Roklaw um, to spread out and attack a few of the cities around there. So. Each of these attacking forces are going to need a couple of pieces of artillery. Um, okay. You obviously need to heal. And we also need to think about artillery for the attack on Samaria. So we have quite a lot to think about. We have some artillery being built in Rome. And we already have some artillery over here. So maybe with... Maybe. Yes. Okay. I've got... Yeah. So every piece of artillery we already have over here. So we have a corpse. I know that. And two single pieces of artillery. Can be used to attack China. So that's cool. So we'll let you heal. But you can come down there. The corpse we will actually send down towards Ravana. Can you come down here? Apparently not. What's blocking your path? What? Why can't you go down here? How is... What? What? Alright, that was that is really weird. I do not understand why it's suggesting that, but okay. Right, yeah, just, just, just come down here, right? The, the, the quick way. Don't go a weird way. That's, that's, that's weird. I don't like that. Right, so we'll send some, um, musket men down as well. Okay, you're in the city, but we'll send you down anyway. Why are you going that way? I don't understand. Okay, I'm not bothered, right? You know, just come down here, okay? I don't think we'll need a ton of troops. They are pretty backwards. And we already have some troops here. And hopefully we'll have an air force by the time we get around to attacking. Um, so with these trade routes, we are looking for production. And then whatever else we can get from it. Okay, so two food, three production looks like a decent bet. Yeah, okay. So we'll send this off to Antium for that two food, three production. Six gold and one faith. Um, so there you go. It's the production we're more bothered about though. God, we're going to have to keep trying to manage amenities as well all the way through this. So there's lots and lots of things to consider here. That cannon can come down. It makes sense. Lugdenum. Um, have you just built that trade? I think you have. Um, again, you know, right now, getting some, naval, some battleships is my absolute priority. I mean, Homs would be it again. We could... Yeah, I mean, go to Homs. Yeah. Link you with the observation balloon, and then hopefully we'll see a, a, a change in our fortunes and be able to attack right. I think that has improved our range a bit, yeah. Good, good, good. Oh, we are bringing these walls down super quick here with this artillery. Bang. Look at that. It is shot down. You know what? This is coming down, people. This is coming down pretty quickly as well what we'll do is we okay i'll move you up just to destroy that what we'll do is we'll focus on taking larsa and then once we've took larsa we'll think about putting our expeditionary force together to go and take the sumerian capital but right now getting our troops positioned for the attack on china is probably my well it is my main concern genghis khan can keep going because i absolutely love him to pieces right now and that's, I never thought I'd say that sentence. That's really weird. That, I, I've kind of weirded myself out there. I think we're at peace with Villainous now, by the way. So, yeah. 
Sadly, when Poland made peace with us, I'm pretty sure they did as well. So we need to make sure we're spreading our units here. You can come down here. I'm not too worried about Arabia. If they get brave, I'm sure we can do something about it pretty quickly. I'm trying to get as many troops down south as quickly as possible. And then when we get as many, all our troops down there, we'll have a better idea of what we've got. And then we can start planning. Hmm. I sort of think if we can hold the defensive line while we take this city here, that'd be good. So having some artillery around here would be nice. And we'll keep building artillery because it is absolutely mint. I love it. I really do. Um, okay, you're going to be useful to go and get involved in this. Now, you see the city walls are coming down pretty quickly. We're going to need a few troops to move in. Um, but I think we have plenty, really. So that's nice. Um, oh, cool. We've got a trading post in Antan and Arivo. There we go. Um, our scout died, which was awful, but we knew that. We need more housing in Radom. I think we've just took that. Yeah, we're defending, we're repairing the granary. And we have one envoy for Amsterdam and... We have one envoy for three city-states, which is sweet. Right, okay. So, trader completed in Lugdunum. How's... Everything's fine here. Um, We do already have an entertainment complex, which is cool. Um, why are you not building anything useful? Why don't you go and work on some more artillery? Um, I know we could probably do with building artillery somewhere where we have, you know, a, a, a barracks. But, you know, I don't think there's too much wrong with just getting some more artillery out there. We're definitely full throttle chasing a domination victory here. So a bit more artillery would be good. Okay, one piece of artillery, 10 turns. Quite a while, but, you know, that's just how it is. You can stay... Okay, let's move back and then heal. Heyo. Nice. And then as soon as the walls are down, we'll move in with our um, units. Right, so you can go to Antium. Again, like I keep saying, we're looking to boost production here. So anything we can get production-wise is pretty sweet. And that's going to help us build our navy up much, much quicker. And we have repaired the harbour or built a harbour in Baghdad, which is cool as well. Um, housing's fine. Like, everywhere, like, I mean, I do want to be building battleships in places like this. Oh, we have low battery on the controller. That's bad. Um, but in places like this, I do want to be building um, ships. But before that, I really want to make sure we're focusing on our amenities. Yeah, build an entertainment complex there, please. Okay, and... You know, for the gold, that's not bad. We are, I'm pretty sure we sent another trader there as well. So we'll just keep um, returning that. Okay, that's fine. It might not be the best one, but I'm just trying to crack on a little bit here. Can you go and see if there's anything interesting coming from Samaria, please? Look, it is not that far. Their lands are not that far away from ours. A quick hop over the ocean and they're in big bother. Okay, so Tarsus has completed a sewer. Um, okay, housing's fine. Which is nice. What else can we build here? I was trying to think walls, but you know, we can't. A bank could be pretty good. I mean, five extra gold would be decent. But we're not building anything else. Just to make sure we keep our um, economic improvement sticking over. Yeah, I'm trying to get a balance, but it's not going to be perfect, obviously. Okay, so, right. We'll end this turn and we'll see how things go. What are you doing, builder? Okay, so I'm trying to... I keep saying, think about farming triangles. Um, I think we have one there. Yes, we do. Very nice. So remember, if you are starting a new game, consider farming triangles. They are very, very good for food. And will help your cities grow massively. Ah! What happened there? Oh, they attacked an AT crew. They may be in a spot of bother in Larsa because I think the walls could come down very soon. And if the walls come down, I expect the city will collapse not long after. As we build a mine over there, right? Um, 
Yeah, right now you just stay here, Genghis Khan. We might need you for this assault. Okay, we will attack with the artillery. Oh, we can't see, that's why. I think if we could see, we can attack. Okay, so can we attack now because we can see? Yay! Cool. So if we can see it, we can attack it good. Bang, walls are coming down. Yeah, there we go. I think we might even just wear this out a few more turns. Like, why bother wasting troops on this when we can just bring it down with a single piece of artillery and some well-positioned... Um, I wonder if we can move the observation balloon closer, if that works. Like I said, I've not really played too much with observation balloons, so we'll see. Keep attacking with the artillery, though, and bringing them down to pretty much death. And then just walk in, that'd be a lot easier. Right, so Aquilia has completed a sewer, which is sort of, yeah, it's, it's sort of the housing issues out for now. And there's so many things I'd quite like to build in this city, but I think it makes a lot of sense to go for military units. What can we build? We can build tanks here, very nice. And not just tanks, we could build a tank corpse. You know what? 17 turns. I think this would be good. I'm prepared to wait 17 turns. You know, as soon as them tanks are there, though, they are going to be so powerful at this stage. Okay, this is Sana. Okay. Can we... Okay, housing's fine. We Plus two culture for two turns. You know, we, don't, we do make a decent amount of culture, 136, but an extra two for two turns, I'll take that for now. And then we'll consider trying to build some more troops, I think, over there. Okay, I'm with you. We'll sort of, yeah, we'll sort of step you up. And then as soon as they've done a bit more damage, we can just sort of walk in at this point. I have absolutely no worries about this city falling. The artillery is doing a fantastic job. Antium needs more amenities, which is not good. Okay, and we need more housing over here. Um, but we're building a battleship, which is more important right now. Have you just noticed? We get that next turn. So that is going to be really cool. And as it was pointed out in the comments of the last video, when we move on Gilgamesh and his capital in um, Uruk, or whatever, um, the battleships are going to be key. Even if it's just to sort of offer support here, they're going to be really good to have around and control the sea, so that'll be good. Okay, Radom, you just need to keep and repairing things, I presume. What do you need repairing? Um, what? Does something need repairing that I cannot see? Can I go on projects, maybe? Yes, repair outer defenses. Wow, only takes... Th How long was that? 24 or 34 turns? God, that's ages. 24 turns. That's absolutely ages. Oh, well. I'm sure it'll all be worth it when it's done. As we went there. Um, we'll leave this cannon up here. There is an encampment there, which we could probably do with taking very quickly. And then taking that city would be so much easier. So we can get some decent artillery around that. That'd be pretty mint. Okay, we have a piece of artillery there. We are going to need more for this attack. Oh my god. We can upgrade the knight to a tank. Pretty much the easiest. How long till we... Yeah. Pretty much the E. I was going to see how long till we get the next civic. Um, just so we could put the policy in. But this is the easiest decision I've made in a while. I want to look at the tank. Oh, look at that. I think that looks a lot like a Sherman. I'm pretty sure that's based off a of Sherman. Wow. Gilgamesh, are you watching? If so, how much bother do you think you're in right now? I'd suggest a lot. Okay, so you just come over here and make sure they're not bringing any reinforcements. No, they're not. Larsa is going to fall, people. Larsa is going to fall very, very quickly. Okay, we have a ranger now, which we can promote, I believe. Um. Oh, can see through woods and jungle. I just like that one. And we'll get that moving on the next turn. That's really interesting. Look, Greece is sending a musket, oh, cavalry unit and a couple of um, cannons. So we'll have to see where they're going. 
it's a good possibility they're coming down here to start something. So we have to be aware of Greece. If they do start a war, you know, they have decent tech. So we'd have to be, you know, not be an easy war. Right. So with this trader, again, we're looking for production. There you go. As soon as we get our navy up, though, Greece is going to be a much smaller threat. Um, uh, we could do with... Might build a farm. But Greece is going to be a much smaller threat. Because, yeah, we can pretty much stop anything they get once we get domination over the seas. You see these? Battleships would take care of them very, very easily. Okay, so we'll play um, one more turn. Uh, and then I'll be able to edit and upload this tonight, hopefully, if there's no problems. Could go build some lumber mills with this builder. I mean, just boost that production. Help us get them tanks. Ooh, you're here. I think the suggestion was to bring you down here, this settler. I think we will do that. Maybe the ranger could look after this settler. We have whale down here as well, which is pretty decent. Okay, so we'll probably think about using this ranger... Um, we did promote it this turn, so we can't don't have any more movement points. But next turn, you know, attach that to the try and attach that to the settler, and then it can sort of protect down here. Because as many units of Amsterdam has got down here, you know, that's not even a bad deal. I do want to take his capital in this war, though. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to reject that deal. I also want to take Larsa, um, but I'm pretty sure we could have negotiated for Larsa. Um, it's just we can't obviously negotiate for his capital, which is what I've got my eyes set on. Not instantly. I just want an expeditionary force over there pretty quickly. I think we're capable. I think we have the production power. Ooh, the atomic era in the year 1515. Nothing on this earth lasts forever, except maybe plastic. Nice, so now we can build offshore oil rigs with plastic, which is going to be useful because we do have a bit of oil offshore, which will be useful to use. Um, okay, so you say we can build a farm on there, but I'm thinking, can we build a farm on here instead? Because if we build a farm on there, that will help a lot with food because we'll have a couple of triangles going on there. And then we can just build a mine on that tile there. Okay, so we have a lot small city-state requests, which I will not go through because I think it's a bit of a waste of time. Okay, so we have plastics. Now, very, very interesting. We now have tanks. You know, we've got artillery. We've got oil. The year 1515 in real life was six years into Henry VIII's reign. So just to put it into perspective, how much more advanced we are than they were in real life at this point. We could have helicopters as well in six turns. Um, I think combined arms, though. I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, you know what, if we can get combined arms, that'd be really useful. We want to dominate the seas. We want to really build up our sea power to help invade the other continent. Starting that with combined arms now would be really good. So we're going to go for that. We've not got the Eureka for it and I'm pretty sure we're not going to get it. Because, you know, in the next five turns, I can't see us building three armies or armadas or whatever as well. So, oh well. How good are China's cities for building a navy? Um, not very, it'd be the answer to that. That's good. <laughs> and there are a few on the coast, though. I mean, there's one there, one there, so that's decent. If we also took the city state, that would be three. So we could really use them three cities to start building up our navy. As well, once Baghdad's completed its entertainment complex, because we do need to keep managing our amenities, then that'll be good. That'll be good. We've, we've got... Oh, battleship. That's going to be nice. Um, I'm tempted to go straight into another one. 11 turns. Yeah, we'll go for another one. Can we get you around here just to get involved a bit? Just to scare Gilgamesh? No, we don't have anywhere near enough movement points. This might seem like a bit of a silly move. But because Greece are bringing all these units... Okay, how long till that other battleship's done? Four turns. I'm just a bit worried if Greece brings all these units around, but I think we could deal with them anyway. Um, let's bring you around here. I can't wait till we can start naming our battleships once they have a bit of experience. 
I've got to admit, I don't name many land units, but naval units, I have a lot more interest in naming. Oh, we have a tank, man. We have a tank. What, how much damage can we do here? We could do a lot of damage um, and take very little damage ourselves. Um, but before we do that, let's get involved with the artillery again. We have good range on this place. Yeah, this is coming down. I'm probably going to walk in with the tank as well. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go then. How good are our tanks? Well, Gilgamesh is about to find out. Look at that. You know, they're pretty advanced people, but they cannot stop the Roman Empire. Whether it be with Legion or tanks, we are so powerful. And thankfully, Larsa has now fallen. Because obviously, we did not want to be keeping a city right behind Rome where any troops could land. So that's gone now. We have claimed dominance over our side of the continent once again. And this is just the start. See, all these units and a few more, quite a lot more with a decent navy, are going to head right over here and take that, which is going to be lots of fun. Um, I'm going to leave it here for one reason. What should I do with Larsa? Should I keep it or raise it? I'm thinking I'll probably keep it because it shouldn't be too much trouble. It's a pretty small city um, and it stops anybody else settling there. But do let me know what you think. Um, are you happy with our strategy? Obviously, in the next few turns, there'll be a lot more put on moving our troops towards China. But I'm, I'm just really glad we've took Larsa. I'm glad that's out of the way. And it was a lot easier than I thought once we got our artillery in range, which is nice. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll try and get an episode out tomorrow, but obviously you'll see how that goes. Um, and I'll see you in another video soon.